And the legal source uh, close to the process confirms to us, uh, as we've been discussing, that the president has asked Elena Kagan, his solicitor general, uh, to take the vacancy, the John Paul Stevens vacancy, on the high court, and that announcement will be made tomorrow, as everyone's been talking about. Not a huge surprise, but a big move by the president. Uh, some on the left won't like this. Um, some on the right probably won't either. Uh, but the president is picking somebody who's very young, uh, 50 years old. It's his second Supreme Court pick, and uh, it's a, a legacy choice, if you will. Presidents love these picks because 10, 15, and 20 years down the road, when they're long gone from the White House, they can look up and still see their impact on the country. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a big choice for the president. Hey, John King, uh, listen, I'm hearing 10 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning in the East Room of the White House. Uh, that's, the, that's the place you want to do it. It's a big, <laughs> big grand stage for president. If you're a president and you're looking for a big stage, you use the Rose Garden or you use the East Room. Those are the two premier stages at the White House. And, uh, you know, the president's thought about this, and they had at least four interviews that we know of. But Kagan was, from the very beginning, uh, the front runner. Uh, he's been very impressed with her work as Solicitor General. Uh, she has made uh, good relationships uh, with many of the Republicans in town in big legal circles. She also, this is something that will help her to a degree, she, the left was not so happy, but when the Obama administration came in, they defended some of the Bush administration policies before the Supreme Court, including some of the terror policies. Now, they've changed some of those policies in practice, but in the legal cases, they have defended them. Uh, and in the course of that, Elena Kagan, someone who is not a judge, so she doesn't have a huge paper trail as a judge, uh, has done some things that have won her um, some begrudging respect uh, from conservatives. So that is something the White House believes will help her. But mostly those around the president say that he's very impressed with a sharp intellect, uh, a nimble mind, and somebody who is uh, he views as a good debater and a, a good uh, counterpart for the conservatives, the, the sharp conservatives on the court, like Antonin Scalia, for example. Mm -hmm.